Welcome everyone here in the view in practical research one for fourth quarter examination. So without further ado, let's begin. For question number one, it is says that this is an overview of what has been written about a specific topic. This is an overview of what has been written about a specific topic. A literature review, B review, C references, or D synthesis. Again, this is an overview of what has been written about a specific topic. A literature review, B review, C references, or D synthesis. And the correct answer is A literature review. Question number two. Which of the following is not a purpose of literature review in qualitative research? Again, which of the following is not a purpose of literature review in qualitative research? A. To expand, prove, or disprove the findings of previous research studies. B. To increase the understanding of the underlying theories, principles, or concepts of the research. C. To predict the future outcomes or situation in the world. Or D. None of the above. Again, which of the following is not a purpose of literature review in qualitative research? A. Is to expand, prove, or disprove the findings of previous research studies. B. To increase the understanding of the underlying theories, principles, or concepts of the research. C. To predict the future outcomes or situation of the world. Or D. None of the above. And the correct answer is... C, to predict the future outcomes or situation of the world. And for number three, the reason why literature review in qualitative research is conducted after the data have been collected and analyzed is two. Again, the reason why literature review in qualitative research is conducted after the data have been collected and analyzed is two. A, Avoid leading the participants in the direction of what has already been discovered. B. Provide background of what is known before data analysis. C. Serve as basis for formulating specific problems. Again, the reason why literature review in qualitative research is conducted after the data have been collected and analyzed is to a. Avoid leading the participants in the direction of what has already been discovered. B. Providing background of what is known before data analysis. Or C. Serve as basis for formulating specific problems. And the correct answer is A. To avoid leading the participants in the direction of what has already been discovered. And for question number four, literature review in qualitative research is always traditional. The specific review method that focuses on theories or hypotheses and that which examines meaning and results of their application to situation is called A. Critical B. Conceptual C. Expert or D. Scoping Again, Literature review in qualitative research is always traditional. The specific review method that focuses on theories or hypotheses and that which examine meanings and results of their application to situation is called A. Critical, B. Conceptual, C. Expert, or D. Scoping. And the correct answer is C. Expert. For number five, when researcher Trina uses a completed study that she found in a peer-reviewed journal then this related study she found is considered to be coming from what source again when researcher trina uses a completed study that she found in a peer-reviewed journal then this related study she found is considered to be coming from what source a primary b secondary c tertiary or d cannot be determined Again, when researcher Trina uses a completed study that she found in peer-reviewed journal, then this related study she found is considered to be coming from what source? A. Primary, B. Secondary source, C. Tertiary, or D. Cannot be determined. And the correct answer is letter B. Secondary sources. And for number six, Researcher Renato's style in writing RRL is to put in parentheses. 
the author and the year of publication. This in-text citation is called A. Integral, B. Non-integral, C. Either or D. Neither. Again, researcher Renato's style in writing RRL is to put in parentheses the author and the year of publication. This in-text citation is called A. Integral, B. Non-integral, C. Either or D. Neither. And the correct answer is letter B, non-integral. And for number seven, this is that part of the qualitative research process where the researcher sets aside his own biases and personal views on a topic. Again, this is the part of the qualitative research process where the researcher sets aside his own biases and personal views on a topic. What is that code? A. Bracketing B. Journaling C. Member Check D. Memoing Again, this is the part of the qualitative research process where the researcher set aside his own biases and personal views on a topic. A. Bracketing B. Journaling C. Member Check or D. Memoing And the correct answer is A. Bracketing For number 8, Dr. Lisa Diosis Dionis conducted a qualitative study among kankanais of Benguets to understand how they have resisted change throughout the years that resulted in the preservation of their cultural traditions and beliefs. Her study must have employed what research design? Again, Dr. Lisa Dawanis conducted a qualitative study among kankanais of Benguet to understand how they have resisted change throughout the years that resulted in the preservation of their cultural traditions and beliefs. Her study must have employed what research design? A. Case study B. Narratology C. Ethnography or D. Phenomenology Again, Dr. Lisa Dewanis conducted a qualitative study among Kankanais of Benguet to understand how they have resistant change throughout the years that resulted in the preservation of their cultural traditions and beliefs. Her study must have employed what research design? A. Case study B. Narratology B. C. A. Case study B. Ethnography C. Narratology or D. Phenomenology and the correct answer is B. Ethnography. For items number 9 to 12, please read the following cases below and then answer the questions that follow. Again, for items number 9, 10, 11, and 12, read the following case below and then answer the questions that follow. Researcher Rochelle decided to recruit as her qualitative study informants resident of Marawi City. Because of her study is about exploring the live experiences of people displaced by war. She justifies that such displacement experience will give insights as to how difficult it is to be living in an evacuation center for an indefinite period of time. He plans to gather data from them in groups rather than individually. Again, researcher Rochelle decided to recruit as her qualitative study informants residents of Marawi City because her study is about exploring the life experiences of people displaced by war. She justifies that, she, that such displacement, displacement experience will give insights as to how difficult it is to be living in an evacuation center for an indefinite period of time. He plans to gather data from them in groups rather than individually. Question number nine. What research design is ideal for this kind of qualitative research? What research design is ideal for this kind of qualitative research? Researcher Rochelle decided to recruit as her qualitative study informants resident of Marawi City because her study is about exploring the life experiences of people displaced by war. She justifies that such displacement experience will give insights as to how difficult it is to be living in an evacuation center 
for an indefinite period of time. He plans to gather data from them in groups rather than individually. And so, letter A, case study, B, discourse analysis, C, grounded theory, or D, phenomenology. Again, what research design is ideal for this kind of qualitative research? A, case study, B, discourse analysis, C, grounded theory, or D, phenomenology. And the correct answer is letter D, phenomenology. Number 10. What sampling design must researcher Rochelle adopt to obtain the ideal participants for her study? What sampling design must researcher Rochelle adopt to obtain the ideal participants for her study? Let's go back with the statement. Researcher Rochelle decided to recruit as her qualitative study informants residents of Marawi City because her study is about exploring the life experiences of people displaced by war, she justifies that such displacement experience will give insights as to how difficult it is to be living in an evacuation center for an indefinite period of time. He plans to gather data from them in groups rather than individually. And so, for number 10, letter A, probabilistic. Letter B, Non-probabilistic, C, either, or D, neither. And the correct answer is B, non-probabilistic. Number 11. What specific type of sampling must be employed in the same study given the plan? What specific type of sampling must be employed in the same study given the plan? A. Critical case B. Deviant case C. Homogeneous D. Stratified purposely What specific type of sampling must be employed in the same study given the plan? A. Critical case B. Deviant case C. Homogeneous or D. Stratified purposeful And the correct answer is letter C. Homo genius. For number 12, given the plan for data collection, what is the ideal data collection method for this study? Again, given the plan for data collection, what is the ideal data collection method for this study? A. Discourse analysis. B. Focus group discussion. C. Interview or D. Observation. Again, given the plan for data collection, what is the ideal data collection method for this study? A. Discourse analysis. B. Focus group discussion. C. Interview or D. Observation. And the correct answer is letter B. Focus group discussion. For number 13, researcher Greg puts premium on selecting his prospective qualitative study informants based on their availability at times he so desired to conduct sampling. He must be employing what type of sampling method? Again, researcher Greg puts premium on selecting, on selecting his prospective qualitative study informants based on their availability at times, he so desired to conduct sampling. He must be employing what type of sampling method? A. Convenience B. Probabilistic C. Purposive D. A and C only And the correct answer is A. Convenience sampling method For number 14 which of the following groups of people would not qualify as participants in a phenomenological study? Which of the following groups of people will not, would not qualify as participants in a phenomenological study? A. Victims of martial law in 1972-1981 B. Comfort women Women who were repeatedly sexually abused during World War II. 
C. Survivors of the 2016 earthquake in Bohol, Philippines. Or D. Success stories of living entrepreneurs. Again, which of the following groups of people would not qualify as participants in a phenomenological study? A. Victims of martial law in 1972-1981. B. Comfort woman. Women who were repeatedly sexually abused during World War II. C. Survivors of the 2016 earthquake in Bohol, Philippines. Or D. Success stories of living entrepreneurs. And the correct answer is letter D. It is not this type, this group of people will not qualify as participants in a penological study which is success stories of living entrepreneurs. And for items number 15, 16, 17 uh, will be tackled on part 2 of the reviewer. Please proceed to part 2 of the reviewer. Thank you and see you on next video.